Hey guys, this is D.A. and Diddy Wop. And we're going to give you a little tour of our fruit trees. We were asked to show our fruit trees, so we're going to give a little tour of them. And we're also going to give you an update on the garden and go from there. Alright, this is a white peach tree. You can see they're deep purple and it gets loads of them. It's just gorgeous when it's blooming. But now we're going to head over to the cherry tree trying not to shake as much as possible but there's a big one there's a big one right there this is cherry tree has never done that well I mean I, I let it get suckers on it just to, so I can have some cherries at all even though they don't get very big but that was the original one now we move on to the next cherry tree and it does really well it does very good of course there are no cherries right now it's just covered in blooms and back up just a little bit full spectrum of this underneath that it stays so shady it's where my wife keeps her herbs and my beautiful flowers look at this oh she wants to show off this big old thing gorgeous Nice flag irises, purple basil, mint and peppermint, lavender, rosemary. This is the one that's just starting from seed. It's not our big herb garden. Oh, there's a blackberry coming up. Oh yeah. I we let have, the wild blackberries grow in my bed. We have blackberries everywhere. Okay come around this way I'm trying to go slow so I don't make people dizzy come to the peach the Alberta peach tree there you go. and you can see this it's got lots of peaches it's supposed to thin the peaches out doesn't really seem to have a problem so far the only problem I've had is ants and figured out you can kill them with borax so they'll come and the ants the harvester ants they'll come and bite little holes in them they just come and harvest the nectar out of them okay keep going this way and also a little hole remedy with boric acid and sugar this is our five in one apple tree of course only one graft out of it seems to be blooming and that's right down there at the bottom but it's but it's everywhere there's one bloom way up top but I'm not sure if it had anything to pollinate with but this is another flower bed it's got some lavender oregano thyme lemon lime thyme parsley parsley lemon balm blackberries again <laughs> there's more blackberries they're they're a racious weed here okay we'll head this way very lucky on this property I had three different natural types of blueberries now this one doesn't have any on it right now but it gets the smallest little tiny blueberries on it and they are delicious but there'll be millions of them on this one plant and it should bloom here soon. The other ones have already bloomed. Okay. Right over there is a, is a mulberry. It's just coming out. And we come to a quince. I don't know what time quince. But it fruits pretty heavy and I like to give these away. They're they're really good once the first frost hits them. 
and come to my plum tree of course I have not had the best of luck with my plums I maybe get 20 or 30 a we year with our gray water though the more we water it with the gray water that uh, and the compost tea and the compost tea that we may get more plums I know there's some on here they're just hard to find they're purple and they blend in This is another gorgeous fruit tree at the beginning of spring. Yes, it was, it was blooming like crazy. I try to, we try to have in our yard as much edible stuff as possible. And it comes to these butterfly bushes, budula. Which are this, also edible. Yes, which are also edible. I have yellow, white, red, multicolor, purple. Okay. And we move to the blueberries that I actually bought from the stores. And this is a wonderful blueberry. It's the largest blueberry they make. It's worth your time to get the largest. That one is actually the same age as, as this one, and I'll have my first blueberries this year, whereas this one's been putting out for about three years. This is an, one I got from Georgia, used to, the place I used to live out there. I brought it with me, and it does pretty good. It gets, you know, five or six cups of blueberries each year. Come back down to more herbs the little cedar well there's oregano it's a good shot of the oregano more blackberries okay daylilies I got many kinds of daylilies they're they're edible and some very old daylilies that is a red bud. Of course, we ate the blooms, and when they make the seeds, we'll be eating the seeds. And this is a crab apple. And it's doing pretty good. It just missed blooming on that. It'd be nice little red crab apples. Okay, I've been throwing dandelion seeds in this. Of course, it'll be self wicking. The smoke tree, of course, it's not edible, but it's still the same. Okay, this is a tomato that I'm growing in just rocks. Eventually, it'll make, I have to water it every day, but eventually, it'll make it down there to the pond water and I won't have to water it anymore. But it's just an experiment. See how it does. This is the wood wicking barrel. This is about a week after it's been done. It's just started turning heading straight up oh and this is our compost tea Thank you up from worm castings and molasses oh and in our pond we have new additions in there I'm not sure you can see them but there are tadpoles everywhere music to my ears yes they will help Clean up the pond, clean up all that micro microbiology. Okay. And our fig tree. Yeah, got, oh, we got the fig tree. It's a couple of pineapples. And this is brown turkey fig. Our frog's second home. <laughs> yeah, tree frog's second home. Of course, there's none there right now, but I saw one. Up there. Oh, right there. The little pig. Right there. And they'll be covered. Oh, there's one right there. They'll be covered in figs. And this one actually, it produces twice. I let it hang over the, the pond. Some, some umbrella grass. 
Oh, I have a cattail that I grow in a pot right behind that, that red bud. And I'm hoping to get it big enough to where I can separate it and start harvesting for some cattail roots. Okay. Now, our bull thistle. We've been babying this. Of course, I had to dig around it to put our future big fish tank in there. Of course, it'll all be waterfall to that. But this is getting close to harvest time. Pretty soon it'll open up and there'll be little frilly things on it. Seeing the bees work on it. Beautifully. Okay, I put another one of those tomatoes from the same cup, you know, for the same experiment. I got one in there and one in my raised bed, so I have them planted four different places. Okay. Is garlic? Yes, this is, this is wild garlic. Uh, the original. It just reproduces, reproduces, reproduces. Excellent in stir fry, salads. Very strong garlic flavor. Mixed with rosemary. Okay, this is my first raised bed, the tomatoes. Of course, that's a early girl, a red brandy wine, pink brandy wine, a Roma. Black crimson, big beef, MHP Gardener had such good luck with big beef I had to try it. This is Purple Cherokee and Parks Whopper. That's the other plant. I have a volunteer eggplant coming up over there. <laughs> and a lot of volunteer corn. Okay, this uh tobacco I'm growing of course I don't smoke but I figured I could trade it sometimes but my horseradish you can barely see it it's just starting to grow peak up so here I am first raised bed okay that's my pepper bed volunteer corn keep my shadow of the picture all kinds of peppers Tabasco's cayenne sweet banana, hot banana, jalapeno, red bells, yeah, this is my jalapeno in the pot, I just wanted to, want to be able to move that in the greenhouse, that's some ginger, this is another tobacco for trading purposes, peppers have just gone crazy, put stuff in pots right here it's right beside the sprinklers and they water good it's tobacco and a bunch of ginger and uh, my little girl found a potato in in the compost pile that was trying to grow so she put it in that pot so that's Anna's potato This is my beans are coming up. That's large butter beans. This is black beans are not coming up very well. There's a lot of weeds in there. It's another volunteer potato. But I have one black bean coming up. I need to more of them to make. This is red beans are they're coming up very well. I need to thin those a little bit. Everything's just shooting up. Okay, this is pinto beans. Doing quite well. Okay, this is my okra. It's popping up. It's got kind of a yellow tint to the leaves. Yellow stems. They're doing very well because this is this okra was given to me by an old farmer said he was in his family for 80 years given to them by the, some local Indians so I don't know if it's truth or not who knows but I know they get really long and really fat and they don't get hard when they get that size so there must be something to it but they're excellent 
fry, put in soup, pickle. This is my speckled butter beans. I love them. They grow the best for me. Okay, that's my video. I better get off here because I rambled on long enough and it's 15 minutes, but I'll give you a quick view of the potatoes and and that kind of stuff, and I have to cut this some um, to get it into 15 minutes. All right, later, y'all.